Well, uh, good afternoon everybody and uh, welcome to uh, South, Yorkshire, uh, <coughs> South Yorkshire Ghost Hunters uh, this afternoon taking a walk uh, to uh, uh, an abandoned building that I passed earlier on. Uh, I was driving, I mean, I, I need some help with this one people. Uh, Especially with regards to this building that I'm going to. I don't know anything about it. And uh, we was, uh, me and the wife was on the way to uh, B&M in Barnsley. That's where I am now. It's the bottom of Bumwell uh, behind uh, the uh, Aldi, uh, the woods here. And uh, Anyway, on, uh, on his way down, I have a terrible habit of uh, being a nosy parker, especially when it comes to uh, looking for places to do ghost hunts. And uh, oh, just taking my uh, camera off this, uh, this light off the camera. I mean, I'm not sure I'm going to get over this way. Uh, I need to get somehow over here. Okay, there's a path here. <coughs> so, uh, like I said, I was on my way to uh, being uh, near Stairfoot Roundabout. And uh, as we were coming from from Wonwell, from a uh, Sorry, Brampton Bealow. Uh, I was looking over towards Aldi and uh, I see this building which I've never noticed before. Uh, I passed the area so many times and uh, I pulled up at the side of the road to have a, have a look but couldn't see much and I thought I'll come back here after when I took the wife home. So uh, I dropped the wife home and I thought I'd come and take a look at this location. Okay, there's something here. Not sure what this is. These look like some kind of shafts or something with the looks of things. <coughs> so they must lead on the grounds. Uh, something here. That concrete, that one. Because <clears throat> this one here. Uh, oh, it's heavy. It's bolted down. So you can't get inside it. So, if anybody knows any, anything about this area where I am, right now please tell me I'm not sure could it be in part of an old pit I'm not sure now I've got to get over over this way somehow so I could do with uh, with some kind of a path that's going to get me over that way Towards this, uh, towards this building. So I'm not sure how big it is inside, or if you can get inside. I just saw it, and I thought, okay, I'm going to take a, a look at this location, and uh, see if I can see inside it. So. Okay, I'm not going in a good position. I'm not walking in a, in a good. Uh, uh, I'm 
here. There seem to be uh, there is an easier way to get to it. I should have followed the main road up and uh, come out and gone in that way. Probably would have been a lot better for me to go that way. <coughs> Especially with all the brambles, if you've watched my videos before, you notice that I fall down like a lot. Especially at night time when I'm walking through uh, through the back rumbles okay so uh, we shouldn't be far off it now okay what's going off here then is there uh, oh I've got tangled up in, in one <coughs> and nearly fell Blinking brambles. Not sure if somebody's living there. There's a uh, like a, a tent thing here. So I'm not sure if somebody's been here living uh, in the woods looks pretty strange let me take a let me take a look here I'm just gotta be careful because you don't know who could be around So I'm not sure if somebody's just kids have been down here and just built dens, some beer cans around. Just keep an eye on the ground just in case of uh, 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 just in case of, uh, in case of uh, anything like uh, Syringes, if it could have been drugs, druggies, or something that's been here. But, uh, yeah, so I wonder what this was used for. Some good rope there. So I'm not sure how far away I am now from from this building. So I've got to try and, and get over here. <laughs> so like I said, this is my first time in this woods. Uh, I passed it many times, but never noticed the uh, the abandoned building. So uh, if you do know what the place was used for, please uh, post in the uh, in the comments uh, uh, below, and uh, tell me what this uh, what this location was uh, actually used for. So, right. So, where's this building? I hope I've not walked past it because the old is just there uh, through. The Ooh. Oh, it's there, the, uh, the building, I can see it. Okay, so we're coming up to uh, to this building here. So I need to somehow get down there. I'm going to go up this way. I'm going to go back down actually. So yeah, that's, this is where Aldi is here on the roundabout. 
Okay, let's go down this way. And uh, let's see what we come to. I'm not sure which way to try and get in here. Uh, okay, there's a there's a opening in here. I hope nobody's in here. So this is the building here. It's not very big. So this is what it looks like inside. So, does anybody have an idea? Has anybody been here before uh, and uh, um, and been inside this uh, bit of abandoned building? And uh, could you tell me what it was used for? I'm not sure if I need uh, my torch, I don't think I am. This looks like some kind of... I'm not too sure. Because <coughs> it's got door, door entrance at each end. But I was thinking with a concrete block on the, on the floor here, it must have been used for... Uh, the vehicles but the spikes in the ground here as you can see 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 and uh, there's some more bit of a building here. A bit more of a... <coughs> of a derelict building. So, if anybody could give me some information of what... Uh, Oh, there's something else over there. With the looks of things, is that another building? Or is that across the road? I'm not too sure. So if anybody's got any, uh, knows what this building was used for. It was part of an old pit. I'm not too sure. I'm not sure if there was a, a pit here. I can hear any water. So we're close to a stream. But yeah, there's another, it uh, looks like another building over there. But I think it's crossroad on the uh, on the main roadside. So we'll take one one more look at this. So if anybody can tell me what, what it, it was used for. Be quite interesting. Not sure if there's any paranormal activity here uh, that we could uh, try and investigate. That would be interesting if, if, if they maybe, maybe it could have been a pit and uh, <coughs> there was accidents here. And maybe deaths. I'm not too sure. I don't think I've got to go over this way to try and get back to the, uh, to the main road. <coughs> oh. 
And I've got a new device today. Well, it's not a device. It's a it's a bike uh, that I'm going to show you soon. And uh, I bought it today from B&M. And uh, I saw it. And it's a bike for a uh, a bike like a mountain bike. And uh, I thought uh, with looking at it. That'd be ideal for ghost hunting. Uh, I think I paid about six pounds for it. So when I get a minute and stop, yeah, that building's across the road. I think it's part of one of the uh, one of the factories over the road. But we'll take a look and uh, and see if we can get into it at all and uh, just uh, have a wander around there's some wasteland across the road from B&M as well just a bit further down I'm not sure if that used to be an old pit uh, many years ago and uh, it's just wasteland now Okay, I'm back to uh, that building again that uh, I came to. Sorry, that shaft it looks like a, a shaft here. So I'm not sure if there's any more if there is any more buildings in here uh, in this woods I don't know what is it is it one more woods I'm not, I'm not too sure uh, be quite interesting to uh, to find out any history or any information with uh, with regards to the uh, to the location there's a a, a path for walkers and cyclists through here and also across the road I'm not sure if this path leads to anywhere uh, with maybe some uh, some abandoned buildings inside or something what's that down there it looks like this uh, somebody's been throwing rubbish or something okay So I got a funny feeling this could have been the pit area uh, with the uh, with the looks of things, uh, and plus I don't think this woods has been here very long uh, because the trees look all new, uh, apart from that one over there, and and these and a few here. Uh, maybe this woods could be probably about 50, 50 year old or something. I wouldn't say he's uh, very old. Anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop videoing. So I don't want to uh, upset any drivers that are going past. And uh, there's another woods uh, over here. Just there. Let me have a quick walk in there and, uh, and take a look. So give me a couple of minutes, everybody, and uh, I'll. Uh, I'll be back with you. Okay, bye bye for now.
Well, I'm back, everybody. Uh, that wasn't a building that uh, I saw, uh, which uh, was a shame. It was a, a high steel fence, but from the other side of the uh, the road, it looked like uh, a wooded area. So, uh, uh, <coughs> uh, we have uh, we have a building in it. So, I didn't, uh, there's nothing there to look at. So I'm just going to uh, take a, a quick stroll in here, probably up this path. See if there could be anything up here. And, uh, there's somebody up there building something. Uh, with the, uh, with the looks of things they've built, like, uh, a fence. So uh So uh, there you go, I'm going to climb up this hill and uh, I'm not sure if there's anything in this wood. Well, yeah, to say I've not been out for a bit, I'm not doing too bad. Any other time I'll be coughing, spluttering as I'm climbing up the uh, deals. So the building that I've just been to, uh, if you know any history of this location, maybe any history of uh, paranormal activity that may have occurred here, that uh, we could investigate. Very interesting. Like I said, did it used to be an old pit, uh, and uh, was there a, a big disaster here, or something like that? I'm not sure if anybody's noticed. Sorry about my heavy breathing, but I'm climbing the hill. I'm not sure if anybody's noticed around uh, the Wentworth area and lots of other places within Rotherham. There's a lot of tree felling uh, going off. <coughs> a lot of trees are getting chopped down a lot of trees around uh, Hooper Stand Needles Eye and another spot uh, around the Wentworth area I'm not sure what's going on but I'm getting a little bit concerned 
uh, had a uh, destroying the the habitat to build houses on or as the trees got a disease uh, not all of the woods has been taken but uh, he's been thinned out quite a lot and uh, I probably suspect that uh, it may be uh, uh, some f a form of uh, tree disease that's going through the trees and they're, they're trying to get rid of it so it doesn't uh, destroy uh, the rest of the habitat, uh, the woodlands there's a field down there let's walk along this path So I'm not sure if, you, if, you, if you've seen it uh, as you're passing through places like Wentworth or other parts of, uh, of South Yorkshire that uh, a lot of trees have uh, been chopped. There's lots of uh, one, one spot that I went to, uh, there's uh, a place where uh, all the logs have been stacked up, it's like logging sort of thing I don't think there's uh, much else to uh, to see in this woods I don't think can't see any uh, any buildings in here so uh, Can hear kids it's buildings, houses or something down at the bottom and dog walking just trying to think which is the uh, the best way to uh, walk down sound like ducks I think there is a pond down at the bottom. So water. I saw the reflection of water through the uh, through the trees. So, uh, there you go. Kids are coming up on the bikes now. So I'm going to try and get back down to this uh, main road down here. And uh, go back to the car. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that wasteland. Uh, okay. The bush is getting a bit thick here. So I'm hoping I can get through this. Anyway, uh, I'm going to let you go everybody and uh, I will uh, speak to you uh, again uh, ooh, very soon and uh, hopefully uh, I'll get to that bit of a, of a wasteland there and uh, 
and have a walk around that uh, because I think that uh, I'm not sure if that was a pit as well uh, many uh, many years ago there's a a couple of abandoned buildings there but they're only small uh, small buildings that uh, uh, you can get into with what I saw of them anyway let's walk this way because there's a bit of a path alright so uh, the car park's over there where my car is and uh, I'll uh, I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye for now. Ah, I'm back everybody, uh, well uh, I thought I'd just take a little bit of a walk and uh, this is where I must have uh, heard the ducks uh, and uh, we ate uh, a bit of uh, a pond here which is called Mitchell and Darfield AC AC Fisheries Rules, Barbells hooks only, no uh, keep decks allowed exit in matches any anglers using Mitchell and Darfield Pond must be used the main car park. Uh, any persons using the pond do so at their own risk. Okay. Very interesting. So, I don't know if you need uh, a, fi a fishing license to, to fish this. Uh, so you come here and you fish at your own risk uh, with, the, uh, with the sounds of it. So look at the uh, the ducks there, Canadian geese. And the mallard just, uh, where's the mallard? It's there. That uh, is my radio, just disconnecting there. I'm not sure how big this this pond is, but it uh, looks a nice pond. Maybe you might come down here, ghost, and do one night, and uh, may come across the uh, the ghost of a, of a fisherman. Nice swan there. I've got no for you, mate. No food. There you go. There's Canadian geese. Come a bit closer. So we're going to have a, a walk up here. I don't. Do you need the license to fish on here? Yeah. Yeah. This one's fucking us. He must get famous.
So, uh, Neverwood Country Park, uh, it says here, uh, Bradbury Park, that way in one well. Uh, but, uh, this one is taking off, look at that. There you go, it's gone. Yeah. You can see the energy uh, as it's trying to lift up from the uh, from the water. Uh, It's a nice little pond, I'll tell you the truth. A cooter over there, uh, just uh, in the uh, in the water there. Some chair, there's a bench here, not bench here, seating. So uh, I'm going to uh, just sit down and show you this bag uh, that was uh, discussing earlier on, which would be ideal for uh, for ghost hunters when they're going out, especially when they're carrying lots of stuff. Anyway, uh, this is the uh, the bag here. And uh, I bought this uh, from uh, BM uh, uh, today in uh, in Barnsley. I think it was six pound. So uh, what you get is the bag here for your phone, mobile phone to go on to. Its main purpose is for like a, a bike for somebody who go, or go, goes out biking. Uh, but a uh, uh, good thing I like about it. I don't know if you'll be able to see my. Uh, my screen on my phone. Let me see here. I need to uh, find uh, the button for my uh, for my screen, which I'm uh, finding a little bit hard actually. So I'll have to tr try and do some uh, with uh, with that. Uh, oh dear. Anyway, my phone is at the top of there. And inside it, I've got uh, uh, my uh, my phone charger in there, my uh, battery-operated uh, phone charger, uh, which is uh, quite ideal to take with you. So I'm just undoing this bike. So anyway, that's the bike here. Comes with two straps at the bottom. Comes goes over your handlebars and, and a strap at the top. Anyway, my mobile phone is in that side, and I've got my uh, my charger in there, so you could put probably put uh, a couple of chargers in there, and uh, uh, and it's uh, well, it should be waterproof anyway. Uh, but when when you touch the screen, he, uh, the there's. Uh, that's the only problem with this uh, with this device is that uh, there you go. Uh, is my phone run out of power? I don't know. Uh, yeah, there it is. It's on, but you can't see it all that well. The screen is touch screen actually, so uh, you you could uh, while you're in the dark and it's raining outside, uh, you could use that. And 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 like I said, the, the screen's touch screen, so. Uh, with uh, with whatever you, uh, you you're doing there, uh, uh, so uh, yeah, uh, like I said, 
there at BM at the BM store. Uh, I got this one uh, uh, in Barnsley here today uh, down near Stairfoot Roundabout, uh, the big uh, mega star type thing. And uh, <coughs> ideal, I think, for ghost hunting. <coughs> Maybe keeping uh, something like a, a SB7 in there uh, or something like that. Uh, if you don't want to take a lot of ghost hunting equipment in, out with you, you can take uh, just a few bits with you and put it in this bag. Also, uh, at the bottom, there's uh, a, uh, a, uh, an opening for uh, headphones. So if you're using a wired headphone, uh, you can put that in. And many times when I've gone out ghost hunting and I'm using a ghost hunting equipment and it starts raining, uh, our equipment gets wet uh, with all in your hand. So that could be good, another good reason to uh, to have that. <coughs> Uh, a little Jenny Wren has just gone in there. A little Wren, it's, it's there up on the, uh, uh, on the on the on the on the branch, jumping from branch to branch. There it goes. It's uh, flown over there. Little Wren. Bit of a, of a stream here. And uh, there's a bridge down there as well. Doing ghost hunting is uh, very good near, near running water. Uh, uh, so they say anyway. Uh, we go down to uh, Elsica. Uh, in the summertime, and at the bottom uh, there's uh, a bit of a stream there, just below the uh, the waterfall. And uh, I've mentioned this many times before that uh, when we're down there, we get. Uh, I've had well, not everybody in that group has. They've not heard it, I don't believe. But uh, a few years ago, with some of our old members, uh, we got the uh, the sounds of children laughing in the uh, <coughs> in uh, Elsica uh, down at the bottom there near the bandstand uh, so if you go on YouTube you see some of our videos that we've done uh, in the past and uh, like I said one of these uh, one of these nights I was there with a couple of our old members I think Gail, Jason, Pete and uh, we heard the laughter of children coming from the uh, near the waterfall in the wood, little bit of a wooded area that there is uh, down there. And uh, about an hour later, this was going on about 3 a.m. in the morning, we heard the sound of opera, opera a woman singing opera. At, uh, at that time, there was nobody around because uh, we could see up at the top on the main road coming in from Wentworth and there was no cars there and uh, but it was very close to us, the uh, the music somebody, a female singing opera uh, so we're not too sure if it could have been a spirit of a person that was uh, I've got to get this right because Diane always goes mad with me because I say spirit and she, she, uh, Diane says it's not right to say spirit uh, because the spirits are people and I, I have to agree with her in a way spirits are people uh, that uh, was once uh, that once lived so there you go so we'll say spirit people make it easier because that's what they are they're, uh, they're passed away now and uh, 
they, uh, they become uh, they come become spirits so we call them spirit people anyway like I say uh, we're not we wasn't too far from the bandstand uh, just as you go into uh, the wooded side of uh, Elsica and uh, we heard a woman singing opera music so I don't know uh, if this was a, a spirit lady that was uh, uh, in the uh, on the bandstand singing but it sounded really freaky and weird there's a bit of a, of a bridge thing over that way I don't know if you can see it let me see if I can zoom in on it just there it's a bit of a of a underground here uh, there's a building there not sure what that is uh, take a look down here I'm hoping I'm not going to slip and fall so there you go under the uh, under the bridge here and uh, the stream on the other side here so there you go very good let's get out of here <clears throat> automatic ballards okay and uh, is that a school? I'm not too sure. Maybe that could be uh, could be a school here. With the looks of things. Automatic ballads raised, rising. One vehicle may proceed. If no light shows, check ballads are lowered. So. There you go. I think it is a school. Anyway, I'm not going to walk any further because uh, through the woods here, I'm not really not sure if there's anything in these woods. But uh, it's been a bit of a, of a nice walk. I'm going to try and get down to the uh, to the other location before it gets dark. Another. Have a quick walk around that bit. And uh, hopefully we'll be back soon. Anyway, bye bye for now, and uh, hopefully, hopefully you'll see me down at that other place. It's getting uh, what I call it. The sun's starting to go down here, and uh, so I don't want to be walking around in the dark. So I don't know the area that I'm going to be going to, just in case any uh, I could fall or anything like that. And especially because this is not live, this video, people are not going to know where I am. So, I'll speak to you soon, hopefully from this uh, other location that I'm going to. So, bye-bye for now.